Excellent points, because there is a big difference between enhanced interrogation and torture. We, we really don't have a definition you know, as what torture is. Um, you know, people think of all pulling their fingernails out or, or other things, but... The closer to home it gets, mm -hmm. the more resolved we become to get rid of the enemy. Yes. And so we have to think also, though, well, what about the little kid living in Iran mm -hmm. or the little kid living in Iraq or the little kid living now in places where ISIS is operating? Shouldn't they have some sense of security? And mm -hmm. since we are the big guys on the block, we do have the ability to take these guys mm -hmm. out as we would mm -hmm. if we had the resolve on it. But um, mm -hmm. if you get information because of enhanced interrogation that helps you prevent um, further atrocities, I think that that's, there's a priority there. And I think when you look at the psychology of taking a group of people, and there's been experiments on this, like the Stanford experiment, where you took college students and said, okay, you're just college students, but you're going to be the jailer and you're going to be the, the prisoner, mm -hmm. okay? okay? And what happened in the experiment? What yeah. was the result of that experiment? It only lasted a week instead of two weeks or mm -hmm. so because the jailers took their job so seriously yeah. uh -huh. that they were literally abusing their fellow college students. And okay. kids actually had, I guess, PTSD from this mm -hmm. experiment from the Stanford experiment and stuff, but um, so it that you know it kind of like you take a bunch, you take some U.S. military personnel and put them in charge of people, prisoners that they know have tortured other people, and you're probably kind of setting you know something in motion that maybe as we as onlookers would say, oh, that was so terrible, you know, what they did to those prisoners. Right. I think it's an important topic, and it's something we should clear, because in general, 80% of Americans are against torture, or even enhanced interrogation. Mm -hmm. That's uh, before a terrorist attack. Yeah. After a terrorist attack, that number drops down to 20s. All of a sudden, Americans are the floor of helping our troops, mm -hmm. you know, kill these terrorists, and they will do anything that is necessary. So, you know, the American people, well, they're very fickle when it comes to this. We talk like we did in World War II, and, you know, we were well aware of the, of the concentration camps and what was going on to Jews mm -hmm. and, and Catholic priests and the mm -hmm. gypsies in World War II, yet we didn't enter the war or do anything until, you know, so many people had until, well, actually kind of got close to home with Pearl Harbor.